So welcome to Full Stack Web Application Development with Vardin 10 and Springboard. In this lecture 1.3, we'll be creating a low-wall application in Vardin 10. Let's look at the UI sketch which you will be creating. We have a UI here with the hello wall level and a button with a label click me and when a button is clicked we will append a label button click. So this is your first application you will be building using Vadin. Now Vadin provides us with with very simple template to get start with. So let's go to the browser and look at the uh, vadin.com slice start. Here you can have a look at the Vadin 10 beta version which is you can either download a full stack application with Spring, the simple UI application, the project base, project base with Spring and add-on. As for now we'll be looking at this project base uh, template and here you specify the group ID. The group ID usually is the reverse uh, of your domain name. So in my case I'm going to use help code and your application names. Let me name it hello world application. Let's download this template. And the download will go into your download folder. Let's open it. You can extract the file here or you you like to copy it in your working directory. I would like to copy it somewhere in my project directory. Let me remove the previous file, paste it here and extract the template. So let's look inside this um, folder. So the first thing we need to look at is the POM file. The POM file is a Maven file. Since this whole setup is a Maven project, this POM file is a kind of a single source of truth where all your de dependencies and everything got set up here in this POM.xml file. So let's not worry about this pom.xml file as for now. Let's go ahead and um, open IntelliJ IDE and click on file, open and look at your project and uh, double click on pom.xml file. I'll open as project in this current window. I will terminate the previously run program or application and Vadin will download all the dependencies for you and it's depend on your internet speed um, it will get uh, finished soon so I have here is the full structure of my uh, application and the POM XML file as I've discussed uh, said it is a Maven since it is a Maven project um, you only if you need some dependencies you can add the dependencies in this POM.xml file Let's look at the source file. We have the main folder and inside the main folder we have three subfolder, the Java resources and web apps. The Java folder contains your Java your Java class file or your .java file. The resources contain your static uh, like image or any other static resources. Your web apps contains your front end or your HTML or your CSS file. The goal of this uh, hello world is to create application from scratch so I would like to delete these two files and uh, create a new file called main view okay let's close this maven file so we have a very plain all java stuff here with the package inside the help code with the public class main view so this is not nothing special here and since we would like to use Vardin 10 component and we would like this class to have a view and and also with the powers of Vardin let's extend this class using the vertical layout so vertical layout is a varying component 
and um, if we see here this is your end your vertical layout for example and if you if you in, if you add any component into this vertical layout it will stack uh, one after another one so this is how it is and let's create one constructor public main view and the main view is a constructor and we would like to add a component into this main view so let's get a label oh this is not the right one uh, i i would like to mention here is when you click level if you look at this the import is from java.awt i don't want that java.awt level i want a variant level right so this is very very important so if you mess with this you will not be able to run your program and an error will trigger somewhere else i don't know so let's look at the valid flow here this is the right level that we would like to add to this vertical layout component so level and new level and let's say hello world and let's add this to this component then there we go the next thing is valid provide um, so in order to view this particular day out or particular component we need to tell vadin or tell the server that to uh, how to access this particular component to do that vadin provides us with a special annotation called route not this one route and this route uh, with the parameters at uh, the part of the url so we would like to have it uh, somewhere like this or maybe i can say hello wall or i would like to have as the root url and if we run this let's go ahead and click uh, run we go to view tool and um, maven project hello wall plugin jetty jetty run so this will run a jetty server and deploy your Vadin application in the jetty server and it will save in the h 0 uh, port over here so let's go ahead to the browser local host sorry uh, it should be this one with a colon and hit enter so you have your first hello world application up and running but if you look at this application there is no style in it there is no um, no interaction with this particular page let's add a button to it so let me create a button again the first button is from java.awt we would like to have it from the vadin uh, component if you like to have a button which is the vadin component so let's go ahead and add a button new button i'll say click me and if you run this if you click a button nothing happened but if you like to add a listener to this button that is when this button is clicked i will do some things right so let's add the button add click listener click listener will have an even callback that is when the button is click will be adding add some component to the layout so add will say new level and button click that's it right so let's add this level and we can add the button to this component let's stop here let's rerun the jetty server let's go to the browser refresh oh I see we have hello world click me the button if I click the button the level um, keep on adding to the layout but wait a minute what is this this is not a button at all this is just a plain text but when I click it behave like a button oh I see I did not add the theme to this particular layout 
so Vadin provide us with a team which uh, you can use using the app team and the de default team for the Vadin 10 is the Lumo team so I'll say Lumo team that class and save again I'm going to run I'm going to stop the jetty server run it again and I hope to see some kind of magic or some kind of um, a beautiful layout in the application so let's go ahead and refresh the page and there you go nice layout yeah, kind of a you know a kind of a, a, um, a kind of material design layout so if I click the button is click congratulations you just created your first within application in the next section we will be integrating Vadin 10 and Spring. See you then.